one of the fun things about the auction business is the random stuff that people bring in here. Yesterday I posted a picture of, of this Peterbilt truck. It's stuff like that that shows up that is so odd to see a rig like that show up at an auction all hooked up and together. Somebody brought in a ATV a little while ago that I don't think I've ever seen one. Where does this stuff come from? How do people end up with all this stuff? They bring it out here to sell it. V8 gas, automatic. For that spring contractor's auction, we might advertise 200 pieces before the auction check-in starts, and we will end up with almost 3,000 items. It is a dance from the time you drive into the gate until your item is on the yard with a number on it, and this dance goes through multiple members of the Blackman Auctions crew that all have a specific job, and they're very good at it, and they do it 3,000 times at that auction. So we start checking in equipment approximately two weeks before the auction. Uh, once they drive in the gate with it, we have a crew waiting for them. The crew gets all their information on who they are, who they're bringing the equipment in for, serial numbers, make, model, year, all that good stuff, catalog it. And then we have another person on the yard that takes them out onto the yard to show them where to park their item or to unload their item for them. Check-in process, pretty streamlined at Blackman Auctions. We're constantly adjusting it a little bit, but it's basically the same check-in process we've had for 60 years. Well, it's a beautiful day here on the Blackman Yard. A little dusty, but we're about to get called up so we can focus on people bringing their stuff in. We try to put details in, as you can see, when we set it up, we definitely like to categorize it, neat straight lines, as presentation, you know, is a big thing versus just throw it in and we'll see if we can get it sold or not. Yes, sir. I bring my stuff to, you know, here because there's so many buyers. You know, he's also on the internet now and uh, gets a good price for most of it. And Thomas has always been fair with me in fairness and, you know, that goes a long way in this business now. Basically what we're doing here is every item that comes in and we park it in line. It gets photographed and described and loaded up online on our webpage as well. So anybody who wants to see what we've got selling, this happens to be uh, next Thursday's auction, the equipment day, and they can see photos and descriptions of everything. Uh, it's super easy. There's always multiple photos. You can confirm hours, serial numbers, photos, condition, uh, etc. You can come and bid on site or you can bid online. Uh, it's awesome and easy. All the big trucks behind us here we've got uh, sleepers day cab oil field trucks and stuff like that so one man owns all those he likes about four more to come in and we're just staging them there until he gets here and then we'll categorize them but all these day cabs with the other day cabs but in his in consecutive order there's customers that like to buy from him because they know his product and stuff like that so you know it serves a seller and a buyer so much better if you categorize it and especially if, if you've got a fleet of trucks you know put them all together that way you can represent them because everybody finds a little something different with this and with that and even though they're all just alike. I'm pretty meticulous about the stuff that I bring because reputation means that if I sell it, people tend to want to say that he sold a good piece and I try to make sure that I'm conscious about that. My relationship with black, I mean I treat them just like they've treated me down through the years. You need something, ask me once. You know, if I can't do it, I'm going to give you an answer right then. But if I don't give you an answer, you can guarantee I'll get it done. Whatever you bring something to sell and you check it in, we ask for a lot of details. You know, the mileage, we don't know what it was used for. We pass that information on to the buyer, hoping that all the information we can get them will help them make a well-informed decision on what they want to buy and takes a load off the seller. And there's my radio going off for me to go back to work.
it is, it is a, a slope, it starts out real slow, and then as you get closer to the auction, it is ramping up and just complete organized pandemonium. You know, we've had a really good run in the last week and a half or so when we started taking stuff in. We want to have all the categories together, all the pickup trucks and all the SUVs together as best we can so we can capture that audience and keep a momentum. And then this crew out here has aligned them to where they will sell the best. We have to anticipate what's going to come and who's going to bring it, which is impossible, but we do our best. And then we end up with a big, great, awesome lineup of equipment and trucks, thanks to all our customers. I think we've got a real good lineup. Everything's come in really good, really fast, early for a change, and uh, I'm really excited about next week's sale. Yeah, it's come in very good. We uh, get an advertised list about two weeks in advance, and uh, it is 99% uh, done. Everybody's got their stuff in here as they should promptly, and it helps them, it helps the buyer uh, for buying and selling. And uh, yeah, everything everything's great. It's a good looking sale. We always have a good sale. Crew's getting excited because we're watching the yard grow, watching the items on the yard grow. There's less space to put things now. We're getting ready for the auction, and it's the next three or four days after this are going to be exciting.